In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the Glide Ride Max against two, I think, of its closest competitors. Hello everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running and athletics coach based here in the UK. And when I'm not coaching runners, I'm making YouTube videos about running and running shoes. And today I wanted to talk about the Glide Ride Max and compare it against some of its closest rivals. Now look, the Glide Ride Max, I'm just gonna make it absolutely clear again at the front end of this video, is not a super trainer. I don't care who you are or where you come from, it's not a super trainer. This is a super trainer, this is not. The Glide Ride Max is a max stack daily trainer. And today I wanted to compare it against, I think some of its closest rivals. Now there's a lot out there and I've picked two shoes in particular, that I think it's closest to. And I'm gonna mention one or two others. But let's quickly just back through the stats and features if you don't know anything about the Glide Ride Max. So we've got two layer foam, dual foam set up. We've got the Flight Foam Blast Max, Flight Foam Blast um, Eco along the bottom. We've got a compressed uh, EVA uh, well, sort of plate up the front end. Six mil drop, 40 mil, four mil stack in the heel down to 38, engineered mesh upper, guide sole technology, and you've got then the ASICS hybrid outsole. Now for me, the closest two shoes I think to this are the Hurricane 24 and the Glycerine Max. Now the other two shoes that are close to it, I would say, are the Mag Max and the Kinvara Pro from Saucony. Two shoes that I think also are worth mentioning. But for me, in terms of feel, these two are where it's at. Now pick the Hurricane 24 because it's stable and smooth, and that's what the Glide Ride Max is also like. And then I pick the Glycerine Max because it's comfortable, which also the Glide Ride Max is. Now price wise, the Glide Ride Max sits in the middle, but to make this video extremely quick and not waste your time, personally I would go for the Brooks Glycerine Max. This is a much more comfortable shoe, this is an, a much more innovative uh, shoe with this new DNA tuned foam in it. It's stable, it's comfortable, it's easy to running, it's got a great outsole, it's got a great upper, and it just works very well to do multiple different things. It's not a fast shoe in any shape or form, but it's just extremely comfortable. Now the only problem with the Glycerine Max is it's 180 pounds, which is a lot of money. But that is only 20 pounds more than this. Um, this is lighter, but I just think the Glycerine Max offers that extreme comfort and that ability to go long in the shoe, but also do some of those easy miles well, yeah, comfortably. The Hurricane 24 is a great shoe. It's smooth, it's getting comfortable, it's stable, and I like it. Uh, I'd recommend it to anybody who has uh, a little bit more stability needs, but the Glide Ride Max is a very stable shoe as well, which is why I wanted to pick this out versus something like the Mag Max or one of those other shoes I mentioned. But for me, the foams in the uh, Glide Ride Max probably just nick it. The Max uh, compound here just probably beats the 24. But yes, long story short, I think you go and buy the Brooks Glycerine Max over both of these shoes. I just think it's a far superior shoe. You're getting a lot more shoe uh, versus those other two. So this is the one to buy if you're thinking about the Glide Ride Max. Okay team, that's it for me. End of this quick video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave me today and I shall catch you all later.